Hello and welcome to this tutorial. In this tutorial I will be uh, responding to a YouTube follower who wanted to know how to do a live search using uh, Laravel and Ajax. Now uh, in this tutorial I am going to be proceeding from the application we had or the application that I did in my last uh, tutorial on uh, installing Laravel and posting to DB with Ajax. In case you missed that tutorial, please go fi find it in my within my channel. Watch it so that you are able to catch up and know where to start from. So that we are able to work together. Now, um, looking at the index.php file we created, we left it looking at this. So what I'm going to be doing here, I'm going to be adding another input box here where you will be able to do to type in the string that you want to search and the, uh, using Ajax calls, the application will automatically fetch re a matching records from the database and return them to this view here. So it will be a live filter. So the, uh, let's dive straight into it because I don't. I want to keep this video very short, and I will uh, create uh, this input. Uh, I'll just uncomment it here. I created it before. It is something straightforward. That's why I don't want to waste time typing this. It's an input of type uh, text with a class, bootstrap class or form control. And an idea of search, we're going to be using this uh, in our Ajax and the name of search. So uh, the next thing we are going to do here with that input, with an ID of search, like I said, we are going to be writing Ajax uh, code that is going to send requests to the database. So the first thing here is to import jQuery. And here I'm using jQuery 2.1.3 and that's the first script and the second script is one that contains my jQuery code and I also have a that script which contains Ajax setup so uh, uh, what, what I have here is the CSRF token which is required uh, uh, when sending the Ajax call to the backend so going back to my second script what I'm going to be doing here is that I am going to use a key up function for jQuery. So when uh, the, uh, there is a key up on the search, uh, on, the, on an item with an ID of search, which of course is our input input field, with an, uh, the ID here is search, when there is a key up, what we are going to do is take the value uh, that is in this item. And this item, of course, is that input. So get that, get, get that value and store it in a, in a variable, a JavaScript variable called value. And then we are going to initiate Ajax here. And we are going to set it the type to get because you want to get the data from the database. Then you're going to say the URL to URL to search. Search is a, a URL that we are going to create in the routes file. So head again to your routes file and create a route for search, which uses books controller at search. I'm going to take you to the books controller at search after this. So head to that, uh, to that route. And then here we are going to set data to uh, the value that we took from the input box. So every time there is a key up, this value will be updated and sent to the database. And here we are telling it if you succeed, the first thing you are going to do now, when you come here, I have two variables here. I have one call with an ID of initial table, and I have another one with an ID of Ajax. Let me take you up a little bit. Here I have uh, set up a table with uh, class, uh, bootstrap classes. Then I have a table, table head with these four, four table head uh, um, elements here. And then I have the first table body. Now this table body uh, has an ID of Ajax and it's empty. It has nothing in it. So this is the table that is going to take data that will come from our Ajax call. 
And now here we need uh, to load some data. Here, when we initially load our page, we needed to have some data. But every time we query the database, we want to bring in new data that matches the string that we are typing here. So that is why I have this. I have two table body uh, elements here. The first one is blank; it has nothing inside. The other one is looping of a books uh, variable and, dis uh, and displaying them uh, using these these echo echo elements down here. So what I'm telling this thing, this one has an idea of initial table. In Ajax, what I'm saying is that when uh, this is done, when there is a key up here, what you're going to do if there is success, first of all, hide the table with an ID of initial table. So the, all this table that will be here initially will be hidden. And then I'm telling it to take, to do another, uh, the table with an ID of Ajax set the HTML to data. Data is coming from the controller. I will show you that. And then the next thing here is just an error. Just in case there is no, uh, this is not successful and there is an error, it's going to console log the error and you are able to, you'll be able to debug from there. Now, saving this, saving that, the next thing that I am going to be doing here is uh, I will refresh this and you realize for sure that uh, so there is an input there, a bootstrap input there, it's looking fine and nice. And uh, the next thing we are going to do here is now head to the controller and see the method search, what is in the method search. Now here I have created a function uh, that is search, which takes a parameter of request. And I'm saying here if uh, the request type is Ajax, Set the uh, an, uh, 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 do a variable called output and set it to blank. And then I'm going to query the table of books in the database and where title like uh, uh, request search. Request search is the value that is coming from that form. Every time there's a key up, remember, it, it takes uh, that this value and bring it, it, it brings it here and it queries the database and it stores it in this variable here called books. And now this variable books is what now I am using here to, to, to for another conditional logic. And I say if books, if this variable books uh, has value, then here I'm going to create some table row. So every time book has a value, loop over it and produce and uh, produce an output a variable output with a table row and that table row the data in that table row is one the book id the second thing is the book the author of the book the other id the third one is the title of the book and the fourth one is the description these are the values that we have in our database here we have the id uh, other ID title and description of the book. That is what we are interested in. And then here I'm just going to say return response output. Output is the variable that we have created here. And so when this output comes to uh, hit uh, the success function here, it is set to this data. And then this data is set to, as an HTML of an element called Ajax. And that is what happens. This one is hidden. And then this table body, because it has an ID of Ajax, is uh, given HTML values uh, of a table that we created. And now when we test our application, refreshing this again, here is a book starting with Kamundi. So if I start typing here Kamundi, you can see it has already filled that. that. If I delete that, you can see it is, it is live and it is filtering. If I start typing think, you see think, if I, I add an N, uh, an N, it filters think. If I add an S, it filters think. So that is it. Uh, guys, um, thank you for watching this tutorial. And once again, if you have any queries, if you have any problems implementing this in your project, please write to me in the comment section below. I will uh, be seeing your comment in uh, less than a day or two. 
and I will sure um, do another tutorial if need be, or I will respond to you in the comment section and uh, sort your problem out. Again, do not forget to subscribe to my channel. I am doing uh, Laravel uh, for every level of uh, users, whether you are a beginner, you are an advanced Laravel developer. You, this uh, uh, YouTube channel is for you. So you can uh, sub you subscribe to it and uh, let us do this together. Thank you so much for watching and uh, see you in my next tutorial.